Now, we as human beings have faced all sorts of challenges – ice ages, tough diseases, squabbles over real estate, and so on. But let's try to go way, way back to 400 million years ago, to the times when our oceans were ruled by sea creatures and the lands barely had any animals on them. Do you think you'd be able to survive there? We're talking about the Devonian period. It started around 400 million years ago and lasted really long, about 60 million years. It's named after Devon, England, where scientists first studied rocks from this time. The world was quite different then. Our planet featured three continents – a gigantic supercontinent, Gondwana, down south, a smaller one called Siberia up north, and another medium-sized one called La Russia to the east. These land masses were moving around and crashing into each other, making big mountains. Now, imagine if your time machine broke down and you ended up in this ancient world. You're now in a world where the land is pretty much a barren wasteland. You are surrounded by basic plants like mosses and ferns. This is the early Devonian period. There were no trees yet, but moss was everywhere. And wow, that's a lot of water! Around 85% of the Earth was covered by oceans during the Devonian, so you see many warm, shallow, oxygen-depleted lakes around you. The first thing you notice is that breathing seems a little harder. Well, don't panic. It's all because of lower oxygen levels, around 19%. It's still enough to ignite fire, and trust me, you'll need one. But prepare to feel a bit dizzy. Luckily, there are no huge predators to run away from, but you'll probably have to do a lot of swimming. All right, at least the weather seems pretty nice, warm and steady. If you keep traveling, you'll notice that the land seems almost limitless. That's because we're on Gondwana, the biggest supercontinent of them all. Since the tectonic plates don't move around much, there are barely any mountains around, and the Earth actually feels flat. Well, not totally flat. Gondwana boasted a gigantic mountain range, akin to the Himalayas. This range was gradually breaking down, sending sediments into the ocean. Those sediments would provide nutrients that help marine life thrive. In any case, it really feels like a whole different planet. The landscape around you looks like something out of Mars, if it had water. The only question is, where is all the life? Underwater, of course. There's a reason why Devonian is called the Age of Fishes. Now, to be fair, it wasn't all fish. The conditions were perfect for certain early marine life to develop important things, like lungs. Some even gained the ability to crawl out of the water and onto land for short periods. So, if you spot a tiny lizard-like creature around the coast, don't step on it. It's your great-great-great-great-great-grandparent. Well, it's not like you'd be able to really step on it. Remember the guy from the evolution meme with a funny crocodile-like head? His name is Tiktaalik. As you can guess, it was one of the first creatures linking fish to land. And although it might look friendly, it actually has a 9-foot-long body and very sharp teeth. And yes, it can crawl. So if you notice a huge lizard, better find a hiding spot. You'll start seeing more of those tectolics and four-legged animals in general by the middle Devonian. But let's risk our lives for a moment and dive underwater. What do we have here? Welcome to Subnautica, Earth Virgin. While the land looks very primitive, marine life is incredibly diverse. We have corals, sponge-like creatures, sea lilies, shellfish that resemble clams, and more. The oceans are filled with various critters that look fascinating and potentially dangerous. Here are some tough armored placoderms, and yes, all of them are bigger than you. These formidable fish had powerful jaws with blade-like plates as teeth. They started as tiny guys who munched on mollusks, but as time went on, some turned into massive fish-slicing monsters, reaching up to 33 feet in length. The biggest of them was Heterosteus, with their scary-looking eyes. This other guy, whose name Titanicthus, with its mouth always ready to swallow you. And the largest one, Dunkleosteus. Oh, those are $5 names, huh? And here are some smaller guys. These are the shark ancestors, the cartilaginous fish. They had small, rough scales, fixed fins, and sharp, replaceable teeth. And finally, 
There are tiny ancestors of our normal modern sea creatures, bony fish. They're nice and pretty harmless. They were covered in scales and equipped with maneuverable fins. You know what? I think you can cook this one. So the question is, how do you cook it? There are no trees for fuel around. Not until the Middle Devonian, at least. So you'd have to scrounge up some super dry moss and get to work rubbing rocks together. Fortunately, the warmth of the climate would save you from freezing at night. But since there's not much stuff to burn, you might be better off sticking to a raw diet of mollusks and other early arthropods. In this world of basic plant life on land and a huge ocean around, getting food and resources would be quite tough for you. Perhaps you could stick to fishing or collecting stuff from the sea. Overall, you'd have to be really clever to live off the small amount of plant life and maybe learn a thing or two from the sea creatures about navigating the oceans. In any case, you'd have to start from scratch. Surviving in the Devonian would be quite a challenge. Our bodies aren't built for living underwater or thriving in an environment dominated by early marine life. You need some shelter. Maybe you could try to build a basic house along the shores using dirt and moss, probably. You just need to create tools and shelters using whatever resources you can find. So get creative. Also, get used to living without clothes. Unless you make up a way to create a dress out of moss, seashells, and fish bones, all Little Mermaid style. All right, all right, to make it more fair for you, let's say you ended up closer to the late Devonian period. Hey, now things are looking up. At the end of that era, the first forest started covering our Earth. Now we had plants with spores, leaves and roots, and even the first plants with seeds. The land is slowly getting some life. Hooray to normal breathing again! We've got some little bugs, four- and six-legged critters. The first land vertebrates, early tetrapods, started showing up. They're pretty cool. Very early ancestors of mammals and eventually us humans. But hold on, Houston, we've got a problem. As plants started taking over the land and breaking the rocks with roots, they released tons of nutrients in the water and caused a chain reaction. The sea got filled with algae, greedy bacteria thrived, and since there was almost no oxygen in the waters, around 70 to 80 percent of the species vanished. Whoops! But hey, good news for you! Less oxygen-hungry predators in the water. However, now you have to watch out for your new land neighbors. Most of them aren't harmful, but it's better to watch out. But still, with more trees and plants around, you could make useful tools like spears, fishing hooks, and rope. During the end of the Devonian, you might even build yourself a treehouse. Picture that, in a world with the first tree ever, reaching 90 feet tall with a super-wide trunk. So, it seems like you'd be able to survive without much trouble. You might even turn into a vegetarian with all these plant options. And hey, no more itchy clothes! You could fashion something much more comfortable. And remember that dinosaurs are on their way. Until then, enjoy your time! That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.